Well, I need to welcome you back, but we're still with a big story for today. And we're talking about the reaction that seems to be trailing uh, that very move by the federal government to give uh, five billion to each state and the FCT amounting to 180 billion. And not just that, but also 180 trucks uh, to different states of the Federation, all in the bid to help cushion the effect of uh, the removal of uh, subsidy. Like I said, a whole lot of reactions seems to be trailing it, and honestly, in the studio, a lot of emotional reactions also seem to be trailing it. And we're talking of no other person but our very guest. Uh, should I put the Dr. Ambassador, Ambassador, <laughs> Dr. Okay, that one, uh, like I said, is uh, the National Public Secretary of the North and South Progressive Movement of Nigeria, and the Chairman Integrity Group are uh, helping us uh, to have this lovely discussion. But I'll plead with you to hold on. We need to go get a message from our sponsors, and that's Benita Gas, uh, located at Ugelio, Kokoko, Wari, and Environs. And when we come back, definitely we'll get the ball rolling on this uh, second edition, and, uh, of, uh, or rather, second segment of uh, the big story right here on Quest today. Hey, will you get it? How best you want to talk about gas matter? Make Benetta gas plant. No sit down for it matter. Gas when we say it in light and last well. Now Benetta gas plant, now fill them all. Gas when the full rich mark. Back, back, back. Now Benetta gas plant, now fill them. And for any type and size of gas cylinder plus all accessories, now Benetta gas plant, now they touch light up. Now every day, now Benetta gas plant, they open all from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. On top refill matters. Oh, yeah, make you visit any Benetta gas plant branch. If you enter inside of Queen Soko of Jackpot Road, opposite to be for PTI Road and from Nehemiah Junction, near former Ami Checkpoint for Okwa Koko, all 101, Ajami Moga Ekwe Road, Wari, all 145, Ugeli Patani Expressway, by Aviasari Junction, when Kare Ai, they look shiki man, and NNPC Roundabout for East Soko Road for Sergeant Quarters for Ugeli. For more information, make you call Beneta Gas Plant for 080-67457890. Beneta Gas Plant. Now God, they are back. Well, that's a message from our sponsors, and we're talking about Benetta Gas uh, Plant. And uh, you know, you can also put uh, your money right here in uh, one of the uh, one of our most uh, and, um, political and also social program. And that's all talking about Quest today. But anyway, let's quickly go back to it. And uh, like I said, we're talking about uh, the reaction that's continued to trail um, that very proposed uh, palliative. Uh, to stay by the federal government, all in the bid to cushion the effect of uh, the subsidy removal. While many are really kicking against it, others are saying the 2,000 naira, according to our sharing, and the cup of rice will be little or nothing uh, to the minds of many, but others will also say that this is a move to show that, well, the government is listening. But whatever you feel about it, which I know you have a very strong reservation about it, but let, let's continue with it. Yeah. Uh, before we went on the break, we talked about what you feel the money would have been used. There's just so many. Yes, so many. And uh, talking about that so many, I rather want us to take a reaction. We, we seek the opinion of no other person but Eraza er er Oniha, uh, the Deputy Secretary uh, General of the Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria. And he felt the money would have been better used in repairing our refineries. Very cool. And he feels it's even going to be more uh, beneficial to a larger number of people rather than uh, just a collective few. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what he feels. But I, 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 I want you to really look at that. Do, do you see that idea uh, as, a best, as one of the best approach with um, this money rather than palliative being given? Yes, I, the truth is, I have been open to the petroleum industry yeah. since 1993 till date. You know, an educated man is a man who knows little about everything. Of course. Now, we grew up beautifully. When I did my, pro, my final year in school, I majored in petroleum economics. We studied time, turn around maintenance for refineries. Okay. Over the years, it's like Bermuda Triangle that people don't understand till tomorrow, the mystery behind it. What is that Hercules task? The best thing to have done, we have made 1.5 to for the past two months. Mm -hmm. well, three months. Apart from the food reduction I talked about earlier. Mm -hmm which I also come to this, was that the major reason why palliative is coming in, the bane is petroleum products pricing. Okay. You have deregulated 
the markets. Mm. Why not return the dividends, the money you are making, the surpluses, mm. back merely to revamping the refineries, okay. ensuring that once our refineries are now pumping and working effectively yeah. at optimum performance, at that point, naturally, so many goods will be pursuing fewer money. Automatically, the fair price will now come to like 15 naira per litre. At that point, we're not talking about palliative anymore. The economy is running on its own independently. But what the mass of and what I believe in should be number one reason to move on one approach to, to this. Okay. But you see, like I told you, it's 1993. Mm. I have done contracts with NGC, with the main NMPC, under my late mentor. Mm. So I have been exposed to the, to the oil it world. Mm. What is that problem that cannot be fixed? That cannot be fixed. The same thing leadership inefficiency the same thing over the years mm. the same thing lack of transparency the same thing corruption where few people who don't leave their house controls billions of dollars now don't you feel that's the reason why he did not think towards it because he feels that we've pumped so much into revamping most of these refineries and then we've had little or no results, results. so we, we did not going down the same road that other administrations have gone and he did no results would I that be right I, I, wise I, I, thing to I, I, do I at want, this time I, no i want to come in again from, from this, this way. way yes every other leader did not do well mm. We are coming. We are now in a, in a global world. Starting war. from Obasanjo, I, I get my point. Yes, they have not done well mm. in terms of this refinery thing. Of course. Now, I have now used my contact, mm. my loyalty to Nigerians. Mm. I must give it to Tinubu for that. Okay. His followership and loyalty, you can't beat it. Now, I use this prowess. And I said, it is my turn to rescue Nigeria. Nigeria. So I don't want, I'm not here this morning, bro, to discuss the problems of Basajor course, Jonathan course, Yaradwa course, uh, Buhari course. I am here to challenge the president that you told us Nigerians that you have been there over the years. It is your turn to lead us and lead us aright. What you owe us, owe you and I, is prompt response, prompt solutions, prompt control and coordination to ensure what the Kuru surmount over the years you could you, you can do, could it. do it so that you can write your name in diamond and not just in gold. That is why we are here this morning. That's why I woke up as early as six or five this morning to get ready for this program. And that is why we are here. That is why we are airing our minds that Nigerians should call on the president that. You should not go the way of other leaders. Now let, let, let's come. Let's let's leave that, but still remain with the issue of the palliative. But before I come, before I close, yeah, that issue of venery mm. is one of the best, if not approach, the best, approach, approach to it. Okay, now now let, let, let's let's leave that, like I said, and and then come to another major one that many persons might not know, and we're talking about the terms of disbursement. Yeah. Most people would not know. They only heard that the federal government wants to give out a hundred and eighty billion to states, but let's look at the disbursement and repayment because there's a repayment to it that most repayment. people don't, don't know now the palliative funding has to be shared with the formula as follows yeah 52 percent of the money is given to states as grants that's what this 180 billion is mm -hmm. 52 percent of the money is to as be given grants. to the state as grants why 48 percent of the 5 billion is to be paid through an installment base within a period of 20 months to the CBN by the state and local government. So I want to know, is the palliative paid back? Do you normally pay palliative back? Palliative means support to cushion the problems one is having at a particular time. Mm. So how can you give me support? I will not pay back. Support is help, it's aid. Aids are not paid back. 
when the World Bank grants data Nigeria, mm. Nigeria aid, mm. they are gifts to support a situation. I am shocked that we're going to pay back 48%. Mm. You are mortgaging the future of a born Nigerians again into a problem you but, plunge but, yourself but, into. But, 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 but don't you feel that amount is a bit fair, judging that most states get more than that? So 5 billion, 48% of it, which is just basically half of it, yes, will we'll have, we'll have to now return back, which is 2.5 billion. So is it not fair on the, on the part of the it, state it, if, if, and I remain, if judiciously being used, and a repayment plan of 20 months is given on that. You see, uh, that word if is my problem when I'm speaking English. Okay. Because I hate probabilities. Okay. I believe in definition, whereby you use the word must. Okay. Must. You, you use, you, okay. You, 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 you use the word that it is expected. We will say, ceteris paribus, all things being equal. But Money must, enough, must to be paid back. Things are not months. always equal. Okay. Because of human nature. Nature. Now, first and foremost, why will you think the word that tomorrow mm. that the disbursement will be fairly done? It is easier said for the head of a cow to go through the eye of a needle as Jesus Christ preached than for this money to be disbursed. disbursed. Oh come on. I, I am not would... being pessimistic. I am a pragmatic person telling you the truth and reality based on experience from day one to now. Even the, 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 the there is a decoy mm -hmm. under this palliative thing that will soon be exposed. Okay, now, are you saying that you, you feel some states will not do a proper disbursement of this? And because why, why I'm asking, this is not the first time, like you said, we've seen issues like the COVID-19. And who will forget the Paris fund, the, 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 Paris the, 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 Club the, the, the Reef fund that most governors had to put in their bank account and were chased for years by the AFCC. So, so do, do you see this going the way of the others? Is that what you're saying? Some me, governors. Some governors. I'm not speaking here as a friend or follower of Governor Sheriff okay. of the other states. Yes. But I want to be fair mm. to his person yes. that Deltans could be luckier okay. under him. Okay. But, but brother, majority of the states, mm. majority of the states will fail on this. So you feel party members, party loyalists, family will be and friends. Arranging on name matter, party party will just come. Okay. Look at the situation whereby there are other programs mm. for the national government. Okay. The members of other parties in Delta don't have a say to each other. Okay. Okay. I get to my point. Yeah. So a state where you have Labour Party, mm -hmm. Abga, mm -hmm. it becomes their mm -hmm. matter. Okay. Where you have APC, their matter. Mm -hmm. Where you have PDP, their matter. But some governors, few amongst whom our governor will be part of it, who, who have conscience, who say, no, this is to help the masses. Let's remove politics out of it. And Irrespective of the politics. So, but I, my worry mm. is that it's only 2 or 3% that will do of well the we'll governors do. that will do this. 95% will fail. That is total fail. failure. So why go into it? Why do a thing how can you wake up in the morning, my career, and know that going to Lagos is a disaster? Mm. And you want to board your flights and go to Lagos? That is suicide. <laughs> Economic suicide. My, I will say, come back here. I'm not the prophet of doom. We are talking about practicalism. Whereby you see that the moment power is given to... Look at our, our president generals. Mm. Look at our local places that will produce oil. Mm. When the oil companies release these things, how many have access to them? Well, and those in, in, in the hands of That is the point. I am speaking as a former active PG, Volumoro Kingdom, 2014, Volumoro Kingdom, whereby even the, the company giving us the items want to corrupt us. Where are we heading to? That is on a nucleus environment of a kingdom. And not a a not, and not like a state, there. Not a state. Not a state. In, in totality. So you see that even those giving at the palliative 
will be wanting returns at the end of the day. So why not a miracle mm -hmm. who has said it is not business as, as usual? I have plunged, as far as we are concerned, President Tinubu plunged us into where we are now. We didn't want the subsidy. We want we want subsidy. Now we want to say subsidy has ended. It's gone. Oh, okay, now after we hear that statement, yeah. why do you need to use from February okay. till that period to get these things that these are your plans, economic blueprint? You don't need to appoint ministers before you work. He has President Tinubu has the tick tank. He doesn't lack manpower to handle this. Okay, okay. Ambassador Idawane, let, 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 let's, you, you said let's be factual. Yes. And, and let's stay with it. The way it is now, and being factual is definitely the federal government are going to give the states, whether we shout here or not. It is a plan that has already been put in place. It's only and as we, even, as we even hear in the papers this morning, some states have already gotten theirs. That's the honest truth. But what is the best way? And I'm just asking. Okay, let's what was the come best way to, to ensure? Let's come back to the wait, wait, I'm, Ambassador, I don't want to plead with you to know what's now the best way to ensure that this is well distributed because it's going to get to them, irrespective of whether we see it or not. It's going to get to them. So, how can we ensure that this now gets to the 133 million? Even if not the whole number, but a reasonable number of those vulnerable Nigerians, how can we share this? We need the contribution of traditional rulers. Hmm. We need contributions of true religious leaders. True religious leaders. Are these religious leaders? True religious leaders. You can be a Muslim, you can be a Christian, hmm. can be a Muslim, can be a pagan, hmm. can be a traditional practitioner, hmm. but let there be those that have the fear of God. I agree that a lot of us are corrupt, mm. but there are still good Nigerians mm. you can pinpoint. Mm. Are you following me? Yeah. To do the work as it is. There will be a monitoring team from the federal government yeah. assigned to all the states to ensure the needful is done. Why I mention traditional rulers is that and the local government chairman if they collaborate, they can get a synergy of knowing the downtrodden. Like, I don't need palliative. I get to my point. Mm -hmm. I don't need it. Rather, I'm doing palliative for over the years now. As we go to my house, you'll be shocked. So, let us get those that can volunteer mm -hmm. as well. We have season in this Ugeli, mm. we have people that can do this work. Okay. In Delta, we have people that can do the work. The governor knows them. Engage them. And let's see the ground running. Let the targeted people mm. be reached. Because all said and done, mm. if a couple of this money is diverted, it has both spiritual effects, uh, uh, posterity effects, yeah. psychological effects, and even physical effects. So if people are already dying, and they say give them support, during the flood, individuals mm. came and support the flood victims. The victims yeah. You can identify these people who have their list. Mm. They can be part of this kind of, okay. this kind of okay. things. Okay. So let's propose solutions and go forward. When you told me some money have already been disbursed to the state, I, got, I felt cold now. Mm. But we must move on. A soldier is a soldier. Let's continue. But let the government ensure that it gets there's so no way to have hundred percent delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we get seventy percent, we're okay. Okay. Not sixty oh, if we get seventy and A, the other thing can get lost because when you go to the farm, mm -hmm. you cannot take all the harvest home. Mm -hmm. So we fall on the way, so we fall on left, left in the trees, birds will eat some on the ground, and that is what you have. So based on that, I will appeal for the advice, a committee from the federal. The traditional rulers, the local government chairman, the governors, the leaders, they should not politicize it. It should be this is a way forward for now. However, the other money we have, it should go back to restore our refineries. 
let Emilocon tell us he's truly let Mr. Emilocon. President ride. <laughs> hey, he's Emilocon. He's his turn. Okay. Oh, please, please. Yeah. I'd rather call you, rather call him Mr. And President. Uh, 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 as he stands. President yes. Bats. Uh -huh. should he's just, still the president yeah, of this country. Of course, mm -hmm. I have, I'm not dab disputing that yeah, this okay. morning until the court says something else. Yes. Because that is what we have. You can only do with what you have at a particular time. And we are proud Nigerians and Deltans who believe that this country has a future only if the word if again can we can identify those that can really lead us aright from the up because our major problem is from leadership. the up. Once the head is okay, if the body performs credibly well. Well anyway, I'll need to plead with you to also hold on. Well we need to continue uh, in our lovely uh, ways and tradition. And that's why we need to go on the break now. But when we come back, we'll continue our talk. Uh, see centers on um, more reactions coming on account of uh, federal government uh, giving each state $5 billion and mounting about $180 billion, all in a bid to help cushion uh, the effect of uh, first subsidy removal and the resultant increase in the price of foodstuff. Let's go on the break.